Magandang araw mga partners! Naririto na naman tayo para sa isa na namang kapanapanabik at punong-puno ng aral at impormasyon na magbibigay tulong sa ating kaalaman pagdating sa ating negosyong pagbababoy. Kasama pa din natin si Jean-Marc Laurent, Technical Swine Manager, ADM Asia, para sa espesyal na serye ng Webisode, Handog ng Ultra Pack. Sa Webisode 3, tatalakayin ni Jean-Marc Laurent ang specific biosecurity rules pagdating sa animal supply. Halina at makinig, kumuha ng lapis at papel kung kinakailangan mag-notes. Welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for looking and joining again. So biosecurity uh, is uh, an essential part for any pig farm for uh, protection of uh, farm against introduction of disease, reduction of consequences of disease existing already in the farm environment. So where come from the risk? The risk come from pathogen agent which can enter into the farm in many ways. So measures must be taken to reduce those potential risk source and the most important access route of those pathogens agent are pigs of course the people the farmers the visitors the transportation eh, via the, the trucks eh, uh, material used in the farm feed hair semen so by security include the farm management farm design decontamination random bird control insect control and all have a direct impact on productivity, prolificacy of any pig farm. So last time we reviewed the biosecurity rules related to humans, vehicles, supply, but as the introduction of, of animals is the biggest risk uh, for the health status of any, any farm, any pig farm. This time we'll focus on animal supply procedure. So let's start. So the introduction of uh, pigs is the most important risk for the health status of any farm, like I mentioned just now. The farm will remain free from diseases if diseases do not enter in the, in the farm via the pigs. In this case, the choice of, of your uh, supplier of breeding animals must be based on factors. Among the most important one is the sanitary level. So we advise you is to contact the, the vet responsible for exporting, selling those breeders, those animals. Contact them to share information about their sanitary status and guarantee of the status declared. Indeed, the introduction of uh, breeding, breeding board or breeding uh, guild, PS guild, indeed, for the introduction of uh, breeding board, breeding guild, the sanitary status of the delivering farm must be well known and never below two of the farms. In clear, ideal situation in to introduce only animals with the same sanitary status as the reselling farm. The number of farms supplying pigs to a breeding farm must be minimized. One source much better. Managing also an incoming guilt through a proper isolation and acclimatization will minimize also a uh, potential health challenge that could affect the main herd. So isolation, in fact, is a method of having guilt in quarantine in case new guilt enter into your farm. Quarantine is also addition control measure preventing a potential risk of disease dissimulation by supply animals. A quarantine area is an important part of the biosecurity pro program in any pig breeding farm. You should isolate it all incoming replacement stock in a suitable facilities. Ideally, this will be within a perimeter of the farm, but operated in an all-in, all-out basis and clean and disinfected between batches. In clear, use a separate secure site with separated dedicated staff and equipment. It needs to be at least 50 meters far from the main herd buildings. Avoid contact between the farm and the quarantine area during this period. The quarantine area must be considered as a different farm during this period. Any kind of 
quarantine isolation is a lot better than the direct entry of the guild to the main production site. Ideally, staff and equipment on the isolation unit should be different to those on the main farm. If the staff is the same, it's shared between implement a shower in, shower out policy, and ensure clothing and footwear are changed. Staff also should start their work at the site with a known uh, health status, and this is important when restocking and upgrading the farm health status. Work also with isolated guild last. Eh? So, so in this way, staff can shower and be pick free over time before entering to the main, main herd the next morning. The duration of the quarantine will depend on the sanitary status of the, of the production site eh, to, to be pre preserved. So you have to discuss and agree uh, on the suitable isolation and acclimatation program with your vet and also taking into account also yeah, the, the testing and vaccination requirement. Usually, the optimum duration of quarantine is about uh, nine weeks, but this can be extended to 12 weeks, as this will ensure time to discover uh, diseases present in incoming animals, but also to ensure proper immunity after vaccination. The first period is period of isolation eh, to avoid health breakdown. So this is recommended to isolate it incoming, incoming uh, stock away from your farm for a period of uh, four or five weeks minimum. And the second period is a period of adaptation acclimatization. So it's about four to five weeks also. It's to ensure that the guilt are exposed, recovered and fully immune to receiving her disease before entering to the herd. I could mention, for example, also a kind of task, main task to, to do uh, to implement a proper quarantine implementation. So here we are. So before arrival, uh, make sure that you clean disinfect between batches of animals. Provide also clean and ad libitum feed water and also keep housing well ventilated and draft free. But in this case, when buying replacement stock, replacing guilt from external supplier, there is always a risk yeah, of introduction of uh, new diseases. In other hand, when introducing guilt from your own production means doing internal replacement, the animals should have met the different pathogen already in your farm, this means the risk of introducing new disease is close to zero. So I would say, it's preferable to move towards to a closed herd policy or in or out management of buildings, room or pen. Biosecurity rules related to animal supplies have to be uh, have been mentioned today. And next time we will focus on how and when repopulate a farm which has been phased to ASF already. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Salamat mga partners sa inyong oras at pinanood ninyo ang isa na namang webinar mula sa ating resource person na si Jean-Marc Loren. Hanggang sa susunod na webinar, magkita-kita tayo muli mga partners. Para sa mga dagdag kaalaman, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe sa Ultrapack YouTube! Maraming salamat partners!